Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about the Carvin EM900 in-ear monitoring system. So today I'm going to review this in-ear monitoring wireless system. I'm also going to talk about the benefits and why you might want to use this as a musician. I actually reached out to Carvin because I reviewed the WG5 guitar system for them recently. I bought that myself and they were happy with the review. So we've, we've been talking and I said, hey, will you send me that in-ear system? Because I've kind of thought about trying one, but I'm not sure it's for me. I'm pretty old school with monitors and stuff. I'm not sure I want any of the monitors. Right now it retails at 369, which is a great price. A lot of in ear systems are around thousand bucks. The in ears themselves could be a thousand bucks if you have them custom made. So these are the ones that come with it. I really like these. They, they fit really well. They look very inconspicuous, right? Especially if you have long hair, you can't see them at all. The cable goes behind your back, they're in your ears. It kind of seals off the outside world, not completely. Uh, actually pretty good for making YouTube videos as well. But basically, I took it to a solo gig. I want to talk about my experience with it, and then I'll tell you about the system itself. So again, if you want information, go to Carvin's website. I'll give you a quick rundown, and I'll tell you why I think it's worth checking out. I mean, to cut a long story short, I really like this. I really like idiom monitors. I like this system, and I think you will too. But it's not for everyone, so I like the price of this one because you can get it, you can try it for a while, you can see if it works for you. Also, if it does work for you and you're in a church or a band, then if you want to get four or five of them, it's not going to completely break the bank, right? If you're going to spend a thousand bucks on the system and a thousand bucks on custom headphones for it, that could cost a lot of money if you think about it. So this could be great for churches and, and bands. But anyway, quickly, what do you get in the box? You get the receiver here. So you plug from your monitor send into this. You've got a headphone in for like the sound engineer to plug in direct and listen to your mix. You've just got a very simple controls here, volume control, select the channel on the front, make sure the receiver pack, make sure the receiver pack here has the same channel on it. Just press set and choose that same channel. Very simple. I love the volume control because it goes off. So you can't blow yourself away when you turn it on and then it gradually goes up. You know, with these things, do not have them too loud. This also has a um, setting so that it won't be too loud. It's got like a limiter if you want it on. I don't have it on because I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm pretty aware of this stuff, but I don't want you to damage your hearing. In fact, the reason to wear these is to save your hearing. So don't have it too loud. That's one very important thing I'll say. Use the limiter feature and don't have it too loud. I like the way it starts at zero and gets louder. So you can't just turn it on and, and damage your hearing. That's, that's really cool. Now left and right on here will mean if you have two feeds in the back, one of like my voice and one of the band mix, I can then sweep between them. So I can start in the middle and I can have like more of my voice. So rather than shout to the sound guy or sound girl, hey, sound person, more me, more me, more me. I can just turn it towards the voice, get more of the voice. So that's nice. You wear it on your belt and you can just easily get more voice, more volume if you need it. Simple and effective. It uses two AA batteries. I would like to see a rechargeable option, but the good thing about this is if you have forgotten to charge it, you can run out and buy some AA batteries and throw them in there and you're good to go. They last quite a while. I mean, if you're going to use it all the time, maybe buy some rechargeable AA batteries and use them instead. But nice to have the option of just throwing in some batteries from the local store if, you, if, you, if your batteries have died or something. So all in all, a nice design. Now, disclaimer here, I haven't had much... I haven't had much experience with these systems, so I'm not the, the most knowledgeable about the systems. I can't give you the most detailed review of this compared to other systems. And indeed, my review here is to tell you how I found it as a first timer. So you get the power plug, of course, you get different earplugs, like small, medium, large. Do try them all, see which one works best for your ears. You put them in like this, they go over the ear so they don't fall out. They're, these ones are very comfortable, I will say. The cable goes behind your back. And that's it, just plug the air, make sure you put the antenna on the back of the system here. And it sounds great. Now with this system, I do hear a little bit of background noise. Again, disclaimer, New York City is so bad for wireless, but once you start talking or playing music, this, you know, it doesn't, doesn't bother me, so it's fine. So yeah, I've had no problems with connectivity, it works great. And, if you, and the great thing about this is if you do have a problem with connectivity, just change the channel. You've got like multiple settings on there. So that's cool. All right, so that's the system and a quick rundown. Again, check their website for full details. But let me tell you about what happened at the gig. I think this is, this is kind of cool. So I was a bit skeptical. I imagine using this in a band or something like as a drummer or as a singer, I don't know. 
for a solo guitarist, acoustic guitarist, I was skeptical. I was thinking, why would I do that? Well, there have been occasions at gigs when it's been very loud, like a restaurant. I mean, I'm sure if you play gigs, I'm sure this has happened to you, right? It's not just me. You're playing, the manager walks over. Hey, Aaron, can you turn it down a bit? Okay, turn it down. It's pretty quiet now. And then the people start talking louder. So at this point, you can't hear yourself that well. You've got one speaker behind me, people talking loud. It's kind of a drag. All you kind of hear is like knives and forks and glasses chattering and chipping and, you know, the server drops a plate and people are shouting. That can be a real struggle. You can really over sing and you just can't enjoy yourself. And if you're looping, well, forget it because you need to be able to hear exactly what you're doing. So I threw these in and straight away I was like, whoa, I, I don't usually like earplugs or things in my ears when I play. I'm, I'm pretty old school. I've played for years with a speaker behind my left ear. But the first thing I noticed was the clarity just came alive. Suddenly I've got sound in both ears. I'm not even running like stereo effects or delays, but suddenly I've got sound in both ears. I'm like, wow, this is great. And then my second thought was, oh, I can hear everything. You know, like when, when you first record someone talking or singing and they go, oh, oh, I can hear myself. That's what it's like. It's like I've had all these years hearing myself, of course, from a speaker, PA speaker or monitor. And suddenly I hear myself, even now talking on this mic, I can hear everything. I can hear every breath, every whisper, every little sound my mouth is making. Now this is good and bad. It's bad initially because you're gonna be like, oh, I can hear every buzz of the string. I can hear every, every breath, you know, when I'm singing. But it's gonna be great because you can suddenly hear everything and they're blocking out the background noise. So you just hear your music. And I think this could be I mean, this is kind of a new thing for me and I will do a follow-up review in a few months' time, but I think this could be a new way of me to enjoy my music perform performances because I can actually hear everything, which is wonderful. And I also realized that my sound at the front, despite all my years of doing sound, I think it's been too bright because I've been hearing such a quiet sound and making you know, adjustments in this room, having these issues with, uh, with you know, the room sound that I've been cranking the trebles. You put these in, you're like, oh, it's too bright. So you turn it down, you listen to the speakers around the venue that they have in, in this restaurant, and you're like, wow, it, it sounds better. So I think these have the potential to make you a better performer and a better sound engineer and just have better sound overall and protect your hearing. But remember, do not have them too loud. Make sure you have them at just the right level. You'll find it. At the end of the night, you take them out. There's no, you know, your ears don't hurt or anything. Put the limiter on. Be, I can't stress enough. You, if you want, to, if you damage your hearing, that's it. You've lost it forever. So that brings me on to bands. Of course, amazing. Ra rather than carry around huge monitor speakers, you can all just wear these. Do your own mixes. Now, of course, you need a good mixer. You need a good sound engineer. You need to be. You need to know what you're doing. But you can have a silent stage. The other problem with monitors is that the sound from the monitor can bounce around on the stage and ruin the sound out the front because it mixes up and messes up the sound from the PA speakers. There's so many benefits to these. But even just to play at home and set your levels at home, you know, whenever you go out to whatever venue you go to, you're going to have the same sound in your head. I think that's a total game changer and I love it for that reason. And I'm not really missing having the physical speaker. And I think in the long term, this could even save you money because, you know, guitarists, I've got all these speakers here. <laughs> I'm like looking for the ideal speaker. Well, once you've got these, you just take these everywhere and you always sound the same. You can practice at night. You can set your levels in the, in the hotel room. Absolutely brilliant. I'm, I don't know why I didn't do this before. And if you have like a Helix, a Kemper, acoustic guitar, I think it's time. You need, if, you if you don't use these, I mean, the whole point of a modeler, a guitar modeler, and, and IRs and impulse responses and things like that is so you can have that studio quality sound or now you can have that studio quality sound in your head while you're performing. So it's like you're playing in a CD. I can't, I can't really explain it. You have to try it, but you do have to keep an open mind. It will be weird at first. Or you, I mean, it might not. You might be blown away. But it could be weird at first. It may be weird at first. Give it a shot. If you don't like it, go back to monitors. Carvin won't mind me saying that because they sell monitors as well. Okay, that's fine. And of course, at times you want to like feel it. It might be cool to have monitors at a low volume and these, so you kind of feel the sound and you have the sound here. Yeah, I, I'm really, really, really impressed. I, I can't believe I haven't done this before. I really am. I think this could be a whole new world for me. And it opens up new worlds too, because think about it, backing track. Suddenly I can have a backing track. I can get, a, and just in my ears, I have a one, two, three, four, and I come in with the drums. 
and the audience doesn't have to hear it. I don't really like backing tracks, but I'm, I'm okay with using them occasionally. But I did have a duo back in London that used tracks all the time. We had to. And every song had that, 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 that. So the audience would hear that. Or well, with these, you can just have that in the earphones. So the audience just hears, boom, the band starts playing with the track. Fantastic. That's really cool. Another thing is with a speaker or monitor, if you slightly move, like, much like with this microphone, if you slightly move, the sound changes, right? But because these are always in the same place, the sound does not change. The sound is always the same. That's incredible. I've walked around the whole apartment and had the same sound. Fantastic. So this is really something, again, you've got to try for yourself. And are there any downsides? Well, yes, you're, you're in your head. And if someone talks to you, if the, if the bride comes over and asks for the song, you know, if you can't quite hear, you might have to pull them out. Some people have a microphone on the stage just for that reason. You can actually blend in some microphone from the room into these to hear the audience and, and, and gets more like ambience. But I mean, if not, look, just pull it out. Sorry, what was that? Special request? No problem. Yeah, we'll do it right away. Thank you. Really cool. So there are some things to get used to. I wouldn't say there's any like major downsides to these. They're going to save you weight. You're going to have consistent sound from venue to venue, from movement to movement. You're going to hear yourself better. I think that's going to make you play better, especially singers. I think you're going to hear your voice better. It'll be easier to sing in tune. I'm really, really impressed. And you know, to bring it back to the system, for this price point, it's fantastic. $369 right now. You get all this stuff. Each of the band members could get one. Again, we'll cover that in the future. Like you have to work on mixes and sounds and everything. It is different mixing with these than actual actual monitors. But what a great potential. I'm really excited by this. Of course, if you're playing a church, it's a complete no-brainer. You know, you want silent stage and everything. Uh, again, back in tracks, all that stuff. So I really love it. Now, one thing I did do, just for my friend Jared's recommendation, I did try some different uh, in-ear speakers. Now, these are around 50, 60 bucks. I'm going to put a link in the description. You don't have to buy them. My suggestion to you is to buy this system, try this, and if you love it, then and they fit your ears well and you like the sound of these, then go with it. I actually really like these for like listening to CD music, background music, but I think with my acoustic, I like these. They have a bit more low end. Uh, these ones. So I'm going to put a link to these in the description below. I'm going to do some affiliate links now if I can on Amazon, just because if you're going to buy them, you might as well use my link, right? Um, for my ears and my acoustic guitar, I really like these. But again, you can just use these with the Carvin system. So even these and the Carvin is still like much cheaper than other systems cost, which is which is really great. Um, these are the AS10, AS10s, really nice. So I've been using these with that system for my acoustic guitar and I really love it. Uh, also probably for bass guitars, it might sound good. Again, as a singer, you might prefer these ones. They're a little bit brighter, I find. It's very personal. This, That's the reason, you know, one problem with these systems and the headphones is you can't really return them because it's gross, right? You're wearing them as health and safety, you're wearing them. So I would say try the ones, try all the, the tops that come with the carbon one, depending on your instrument. If you're not happy with them, if you want a bit more low end, a bit more body, try these ones. And I think between the two, you're going to be very happy. I'm, I'm really, I'm really blown away. I really am. You know, I'm not, I'm not just um, praising the system, just the whole experience. So I can't believe I didn't try it. And now you've got an op opportunity to try the try it at that price. Now, also, if you don't, if you're not quite sure yet, you can just plug some. You, know, you can get these headphones and plug them straight into a mixer, just to get an idea. But obviously, you want to be wireless so you can move around and perform on stage. So if you use this with the wireless, the guitar wireless system, then you can be completely wireless and walk around. And wherever you walk, you're going to hear the sound, the same sound. And that is really a wonderful thing. So I'm going to do a follow-up video. I'm going to do some more about in-ear monitoring. Please subscribe to the channel. Keep your eye on the channel because lately I've had so much stuff to review, like stuff I already own, stuff has been sent to me so much. And, and I'm, I'm always learning new things and discovering new things. I want to share that with you. So please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your musician friends. If they sing and play guitar, please share it with them. I want to grow something here. We've got Nam around the corner. I'll be, I've just booked a trip to Nam. Hopefully I'll get some more stuff there. I can do some reporting from there too. Um, what I love is that this stuff makes you a better musician and makes you enjoy the music more. Like when you can really hear yourself and you get really inspired by the sounds that you're making, then you just enjoy the whole experience a lot more. So yeah, please do check out. If you, if you haven't, if you've been thinking about checking out an inner system, check out this system. Again, let me know in the comments below what you think. Give me some, some ideas, give me some feedback, and I'll speak to you real soon. Until then, 
Happy listening. Bye-bye.